Welcome to Video for All. Video for All essentially is a collection of examples of the way that video can be used in language teaching. So if you're a language teacher and you're interested in introducing or making use of video, then this is an ideal tool for you. And as I've said, there are more than 50 examples that we provide of the way that video can be used. However, it's not only a useful repository of examples of the way that video can be used, but we've also got some additional support material you might find very useful, including guides, including videos that show you technically how to work with different video technologies, and also a very useful list of uh, supporting material, articles, PDF files, books that you might be interested in. So please sit back, watch this guide, it only takes five minutes and will take you through all of the resources that are available to you on Video for All. We've tried to organize the videos in ways that will make it easy for you to find the type of content that you're interested in. And these boxes are one way that we have facilitated the ability to search for material on the website. So if you think of video, we often use video to communicate information. Another way that we might use video in the language classroom is to actually get the students to make video. And another way that we might use video in the language classroom is to use video, for example, for listening comprehension material, etc. So you can search under these three categories. We've also organized the videos in a different way and that is through kind of topic areas so if you're interested in evaluation or if you're interested in culture or if you're interested in developing the students skills or if you were looking at language focus teaching grammar then you will find examples in these boxes here and you simply need to click on them we've also decided to organize the video examples in terms of level and we've done that in two different ways one using the European framework, so videos that we've categorized as A1, A2, B1, B2, or C1, C2, but also we've organized the content in terms of primary, secondary, and adult education. So let's take an example. Let's imagine that we want to use video for evaluation, perhaps for evaluating the level of our students. Uh, we can click on this box here. It's going to bring up a list of videos that are there to help evaluate our students. We can see an example here at the top. I can have a quick read of the examples. And if there's one particular one that I'm interested in, then I can simply click on it. And it's going to bring me to a page where we have the video. We have a short description of what this particular particular practice um, is focusing on but we also get this PDF file that provides us with additional information perhaps how we could use it in a different context or perhaps how we could use this particular practice and vary the level of the practice so the PDF file provides additional information and additional support material as well to help you use this practice in your particular context now we also provide a search box, so for example if I click onto the search box here and I write the word feedback and then enter, it's going to bring up videos, examples where the video is being used to provide feedback or to support feedback uh, of our students. So that's another way that you can search by simply using the search box here at the top of the screen. Another way to find the content on the website is to go to the video practices. Simply click on the video practices and you're going to get a list of all of the different practices that are on offer. They've been organized into categories with clear descriptions. And if you find a particular video that you're interested in, simply click on it and it will take you to that particular video where you get an example, you get a short description, and you get the PDF file that provides additional information about that example. So it might, for example, provide thoughts on using it at a higher level or using it in a slightly different context. So it will take an example and develop it even further. Now let's have a quick look at one of these PDF files. If we click on here, you'll see it will open up a PDF file and that will provide you with additional information and additional links about that particular practice. So we've covered essentially three key ways of searching for material from the home page, either through the search box, through the list of all of the practices here, 
or through these different categories. However, there are additional ways of searching material that are available at the second level. So for example, if I clicked on the videos around the, the theme of culture, and then I decided that I wanted to search for something else, uh, of course we've got all of the different culture ones here listed, but then if I decided I wanted to search for something else, I have got this additional box here uh, that allows me to look through themes that have been labelled. So for example, if we were interested in motivation, and we could click on motivation, and it will provide a list of videos that are have got uh, a focus around motivation. You've also got the same categories that you can see on the opening pages in the boxes available here. If you want to again click on any of these and come through for example to evaluation and search for evaluation videos you can do that and you'll also see here that you have another little search box here at the top where you can do specific searches by writing in meta tags and searching for them. As I pointed out at the beginning, essentially Video for All is a collection of more than 50 different practices, 50 different ways that video can be used in language teaching. However, there are some additional materials on the website that you might find useful. If you go up to resources, one of the things that you might find particularly useful is the guides that are provided. And in fact, there are two separate guides. One of them is video as a learning resource, and the other one is best practices for creating educational video. Now, if you click on this, what you will get is a PDF guide, which you can download, and you can also make full screen. These are very concise booklets that provide you with information, and in this particular case, information about creating educational videos click here to watch the video full screen and then of course you can scroll through as well as as I've said download the video and we try to make these guides concise and clear and provide you with all the essential information that you might need now there are two of those guides and you might find those very useful now another section that you might find useful is what we call video tutorials and these are videos that provide you with technical support. Some of you, for example, might be interested in creating your own uh, YouTube channel. Some of you might be interested in how you can embed video into perhaps Blogger or into Moodle. You're likely to find in that section videos that will help you with various technical aspects of working with video. Within the resources section, you'll also find something that's really useful, and it's called the repository. And this can be particularly interesting for any teachers who are working on their CPT, working on their the continual professional development, whether you're planning on doing a course, whether you're writing an article, or whether you just personally want to read more about the use of video in language teaching, then there's a really useful repository. As you can see, it covers things like academic books, articles, there's even example PhD thesis available, uh, EU funded projects that have been related to video, etc including of course lots of resources from the internet so that is basically a resource for someone who wants to read around video or perhaps is doing a course and needs some more kind of academic or theoretical information then that is provided within that repository that basically is essentially what video for all is about i really hope you found this guide useful now you know all of the content that, or the essential content that's available on the website and please make use of it and please let other people, other teachers know about Video for All. Thank you very much.